How do you make virtual events more interactive? Live events will not return in the next few months. Even then, it is hard to recreate the kind of physical interaction that defines a great event. Face-to-face -face meetings are not an option. That means many organizations are bringing their events online. However, it isn't easy to keep a remote audience engaged. How many times have you signed up for a webinar during the home quarantine period? And how often did you catch yourself checking emails, browsing the web, or gossiping with a friend? I remember one event that I signed up for. I left halfway because the speaker gave so many pop-up polls. It annoyed me. What is the right kind of engagement for your virtual audience? When I go to a virtual event, I only have three objectives. I want to be informed, entertained, and more importantly, included. You can have the best speaker in the world, but you need to make sure your audience is listening. If not, they walk away, saying they learned nothing. When you plan a virtual event, you need to keep those needs top of mind. To make a virtual event interactive, you need to have human connections. That is the core of every event. That is something virtual events tend to forget, which leads to a neglected audience. The workaround is straightforward. Make sure you listen to your audience. Have channels ready so your audiences can ask questions. And for all of my events, I have a moderator who encourages participation by asking questions. When you are speaking, also make sure to make eye contact with the camera. Technology and platforms are just tools. They are not engaging. You are. It would also help if you also remembered why people are attending the event. Ensure that you are meeting their wants and their needs. Knowing your audience will allow you to build content that appeals to them. Practically, it also allows you to use a tool that they feel comfortable with. For example, my parents have just gotten used to Facebook. So Facebook Live will be a great way for uh, us to reach people of that age range. I will not want to conduct a webinar for this demographic on Zoom, for example. And when they feel comfortable with the tool, they will engage more. A virtual event program also needs to be more fast-paced. You do not have a captive audience as you do in a live seminar. People choose to come for the virtual event and they can leave with one click of the button. Make sure you account for every minute during the run of the event. I'm not asking you to talk non-stop. Instead, Fill your empty segments with reminders for your audience to get involved. Use contests, games, or polls to make them feel like part of the event. Since the start of this video, how many times have you checked your phone? Constant distractions surround virtual audiences. To engage them fully, respect their time and other commitments. Experts suggest providing content in segments. Allow them 5 to 15 minutes between sessions so they can step away and check their Facebook or their other social media accounts. However, make sure you give them a compelling reason to return. Housekeeping is also underrated in virtual events. Have your presenter cover issues such as how to ask questions or how to get technical support. I suggest getting in touch with your platform provider to ensure you have answers ready to assist your attendees. Don't lose audiences because they can't log on or have buffering issues. No matter how engaging your content is, it would help if you had your audience to be comfortable and ready to be engaged. If you think it's hard to engage a live audience, try engaging ones that are toggling between you and their social media accounts and their email. Engaging and interacting with your audience is your only chance of having a successful virtual event. Think about your next event today. 